Hi everybody, it's uh, Dr. Modi Charter again, back for another video clip of the chart from the Charter Group Bird Cams. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to provide you some insight of those birds of prey, the raptors that you love to watch online. This will be my second um, video clip, and the first one I learned two things. One, I should not use fish eye on the camera because my head looks like an egg. It's not an egg, it's actually very round, which I don't know if it's a good thing, but it is what it is. Uh, and the other thing, as I say, ah, too much. Uh, for example, uh, watch shins. Uh, for example, uh, why so hopefully I'll say ah a little bit left less, but try that out um, But today I want to talk to you while I'm in this beautiful area. This is a uh, Megiddo uh, um, Junction area where the famous Megiddo, you know Armageddon, maybe you've heard of it. It's not that far from here But it's also the in the winter time. Uh, it's, they have these beautiful wildflowers here A lot of people come and see and enjoy the wildflowers in this specific site here. We have uh, barn owl nest boxes and also have a long leg, um, long uh, um, eared uh, owl baskets. That a basket is almost like a uh, nest cavity, a nest box for a cavity breeding bird, but they're open cavity nester, open nesters. So they typically nest in old crow nest. Uh, so we provide them baskets. This was a project that we did years ago. Um, but today I'd like to talk to you um, about something very interesting that we watch in our live cameras. We See different animals, different birds of prey, and we get to notice that they eat different prey, different size prey, but also the way they eat the prey can differ. One of the main things you may notice that some birds of prey swallow the prey whole, where some others break apart and rip apart their, their prey. So first of all, to understand this, why the difference is, we have to understand birds of prey, you have two orders of birds. You have the diurnal and the nocturnal raptors. You have the diurnal birds of prey, which will be your falcons, eagles. Uh, and on the other hand, you have uh, your nocturnal birds of prey or nocturnal raptors that typically a lot of people call them owls. Within the owl uh, order of owls, you have two different family. One is the uh, barn owl family and the other one is all the uh, other owls um, combined but there's huge differences between the nocturnal and the diurnal birds of prey in how they eat so first and foremost both of the birds of prey they typically kill their prey by using their claws in, in putting pressure in causing the animal basically to suffocate and die so they they, they, they use their powerful talons to kill their prey they actually typically do not use their beak. So you're like, okay, well they have this big, very nice beak, what, what's the beak for? Well, that becomes a difference. Both nocturnal and diurnal birds of prey, they use their talons to kill their prey, most of them. There's always ex uh, exceptions to all rule, but in general they use their talons. But one of the main differences between the diurnal versus the nocturnal birds of prey is that the diurnal birds of prey, they have a beak that is much stronger than, than, than the owls. So a, uh, a falcon, an eagle, a buzzard, a hawk can capture a piece of uh, uh, prey and easily rip it apart because they have this strong beak. Whereas an owl is much more difficult for them to, to rip apart the prey. That's why many of them swallow their prey whole. So you're like, okay, that's great. What's the advantages be or disadvantages behind that? First of all, they've evolved differently, but there's a huge advantage if I have three or four nestlings and have a strong beak, I can rip apart small pieces of prey and provide each one of my nestlings a piece of prey. With a barn owl, at some age, they leave their nestlings, an owl, and, and, and then their nestling has to swallow the prey whole. Um, so there is a little bit of advantage to that diurnal birds, birds of prey that they have this very strong beak that they're able to, to swallow their, uh, um, rip apart their prey where the owls have to swallow whole. But then you're like, wait a minute, but that's great. Uh, but, but if that's the case, why do owls rip apart their prey? Well, when the nestlings are young, they have to rip apart the prey until the nestlings are large enough to swallow prey whole. But this obviously varies into what prey species they have. So if they're eating, uh, like for uh, barn owls or other species of owls, are eating very large prey, uh, they may never be able to swallow them. They may always have to rip a part of their prey. And by doing so, it will limit the number of nestlings they can raise. Because if they're unable to, to if a nestling is unable to swallow a prey, then uh, because the nestlings hatch at um, 
two to three days intervals typically you have this par this huge tide difference between the older and the younger so if they have 10 nestlings the oldest one is 20 days older than the smallest at that point at some point the female that typically um Sorry, I had to stop uh, in the middle. There's, uh, Israelis are nice people, but they're very noisy. They like to talk with their hands, as you see, but they also make a lot of noise. Um, so what happens is if, if uh, um, a barn owl has many nestlings, the only way it can actually do this is if, if they feed their prey small prey items. So as, as, because what happens is the nestlings, after a f uh, four, five, six days, are able to swallow prey whole as long as the prey is small. If they bring only very large rats, or, or like in the U.S., rabbits, there's no way that a, a, a nestling will be able to swallow those whole when they're very small. So um, and as the older the nestlings get, the more food they need to bring them. Typically the female is the one that stays with the nestlings and feeds them. Um, but once the nestlings are a little bit older, the female actually has to go and help the male to hunt and bring more food. By leaving so the, the nestlings, that means the nestlings will have to eat on their own. The female will not be there to break apart the prey. So in that, in that point, uh, it's very important that the owls will only bring small prey. So that's one of the reasons why sometimes when you see different sized broods of owls, like say between Israel, which we can have up to 11 nestlings versus in the U.S. where they can have three to five, maybe six nestlings. But, uh, but the major difference is in Israel, they typically eat much smaller prey items, so they're able to feed more nestlings, and the net smaller nestlings are able to swallow the prey. Um, this obviously varies also within Israel. Sometimes we have uh, locations where they eat larger prey, and that limits the amount of prey uh, um, nestlings they can raise. So the, um, the limitation of barn owls is, is, or owls in general, is, is that they need at some point to swallow their prey whole. Uh, in order to, because um, their beaks are not as strong, whereas the diurnal birds of prey, like the falcons, eagles, even their nestlings have much stronger uh, beaks and can start prey ripping apart the uh, the meat and eating on their on their own. And I can tell you, for somebody who researches birds for years, also diurnal and also nocturnal raptors, uh, if an owl bites you, it hurts. It's not pleasant, but it doesn't cause a lot of damage. Versus even if a small kestrel. A small falcon bites you, it can rip apart little pieces of your skin, which hurts much more. And let's not talk about the uh, buzzard hawks or eagles, which are very much stronger beaks. Um, so these birds have evolved differently to survive in nature. Uh, but when we're watching these live cams, sometimes we only get to see and observe what they're doing without actually understanding there's a, a, a reason behind uh, um, that the female stays with the nestling to help break apart the uh, pieces of meat. And But she's very happy at some point to stop doing that and throwing the nestling to the nestling to swallow. It's not easy for her to do that. These uh, barn owls, she doesn't like ripping apart and feeding the nestling small pieces of meat. She prefers just throwing them and have the nestling swallow them whole, which is also amazing that a nesting is able to swallow whole. So again, I, I hope you like this video. Uh, I want to thank everybody for the participation and the timestamps and comments and and donations and uh, everything else that you help with the channel. Without without your participation, the channel would not be possible. Obviously, to our moderators, if you have any comments or any topics you'd like me to go over, please write them again in, in the comments. And last and not least, do not forget to subscribe. You know, we need a subscription that helps with the YouTube uh, algorithm. And last but not least, now really last but not least, I'm saying things, repeating everything twice. Keep on watching. See you next time.